Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've been operating parks on the air and having a lot of fun doing it. So I've got a good routine down when I go from park to park. Uh, what I go in and change in my software programs so I get the correct grid square and the correct park number and all that's uploaded to LOTW and I don't have any problems so let me show you in 2QSL what I do is create a station location a new one and I'm sure you can find these videos uh, under parks on the air and their YouTube channel but let me just show you real quick the last place that I was at was Buffalo Gap and uh, to create a new station location you just click on this little icon and it brings up the uh, the windows that prompt you you add in your grid square ITU zone CQ zone and uh, then hit next and you put in your state and your county and then uh, the park sometimes I have trouble finding my county so I google it and uh, uh, I usually get it right. Uh, usually what they're looking for is that park number. And Buffalo Gap didn't have a park number. But uh, when you're creating a uh, new uh, station location under TQSL, uh, it's got all the parks in here. And you just select it, hit next, and then you name it. And you want to name it something simple that you'll remember. And I'll show you why when we get over to uh, Log for the Old Man. So that's it. The first thing I do is set up TQSL. And the next place I go is log for the old man. And again, this is just if you're activating parts. But uh, anyway, what you, what you want to do in, L in log for the old man, um, I've been using it a lot and I really like it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it works with the wind keyer. And I use the wind keyer on CW. It just makes things easier for me. But uh, there's just a couple of things you need to check in Log for the Old Man if you're activating the park. Uh, go into Settings, Program Configuration, and you know if you're, if you're using another uh, logging program, it's basically the same. You want to check your, uh, your station information in the logging program. And you want to make sure that you have your uh, grid square right. I've got it in there. This is the last park I did. It was uh, Buffalo Gap. And I uh, don't have anything in here under the street in the city. I just got my name in there and uh, the state I'm in, the county I'm in. And then my SIG info, that's the park number I was, I was activating. Uh, I want to make sure that's correct. And then the other place for LOTW, when I close log for the old man, it uploads to LOTW. And I want to take a look at the external services and the LOTW tab. When I was in TQSL, I created that station ID, and that's what I want right here. Make sure that I've got it right. It's got all the other ones in there, but I want to make sure i got the right one selected. And then I've got these checked off here. So if I was operating just phone and CW, uh, this would be all I need to do. Uh, that's it. Uh, it's good. Uh, when I make a contact... Uh, it puts the right information in there and when I lock, close this program it uploads it to LOTW so uh, that's pretty cool that's uh, that's the way I like it I don't like to have to go back in and, and re-upload things so uh, yeah phone and CW this would be it but I operate uh, FT8 and let me show you what uh, the settings look like in there WSJTX and again if you're using a different Digital program, well, you know, it's uh, it's pretty much the same uh, in all of them. Uh, you just want to make sure you get the right grid square. Uh, we don't transmit the park number uh, using FT8 uh, or WSJTX. We don't uh, transmit the, the park number. We just transmit the grid square. So make sure you got it in there correct. And then when I make a contact in WSJTX, it sends it over to uh, log for the old man and here's the FT8 contact I made we'll take a look at it and I go back in and check these things every once in a while just to make sure 
it's all working. I look under my QTH and I've got that park number in there. That's the right one. Remember, that's the one I, I set up under the uh, configuration. Got the right park number there. Now, if this was a, a park that I was contacting and it was a park to park contact, I'd have to enter his park number. And in uh, Log for the Old Man, where I'd enter it is I'd go over to the contact details and I'd put his park number under SIG info and then save it. So when I'm going along and I'm making contacts, I just use a little scratch pad. I, I write down the call sign and then the park number. And I'll go back and edit this later. So when I close the program, it uploads to LOTW and everything's smooth. So that's it for WSJTX. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. The other program I use is FL Digi and I use it for PSK31. And there's just a couple of spots in here I want to make sure is right before I start transmitting. Go under configure and config dialog. And under miscellaneous and operator station. I want to make sure I got the station locator in there and the state and the county. Go ahead and close that. The other place I want to look at is in my macros when I'm sending my station locator. Uh, let's take a look at that. It's in the macro and I've just got it typed in there. There it is. So when I transmit, it sends the correct part number. Okay, now uh, when I'm operating portable, I uh, I use my phone to find out my grid uh, my grid square. And there's a little uh, app on the phone. It's uh, on the iPhone. It's called Ham Square. They probably make it for Android too. It's called Ham Square, and uh, all you do is open it up, and it tells you where you are. So that's where I get my uh, grid square from. And there is a website you can look at, and I've got a link to that on my webpage. There's going to be an article uh, on my website, k0pir.us. It'll have some screen captures and some more information, so please sure to be sure to visit it. And that about does it. I'm really looking forward to uh, operating uh, more parks on the air and activating more parks. So uh, thanks to all the hunters out there and all the people participating uh, the volunteers uh, it's a it's a lot of fun it's a great hobby and it's just uh, a really good uh, activity if you want to get involved in it so thanks for watching remember to like subscribe and share also tell your friends 73 and good DX